Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here, as well as my friend, called Douglas MacArthur. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, but let us upgrade Douglas MacArthur as we continue playing as United States in a Hearts of Iron 4 campaign, Democracy Edition. So, alright. Uh, ambusher or infantry expert? Well, let's see. Douglas MacArthur is only a level 4 field marshal. A pretty good guy. He's got better tax, better planning, uh, costs for promotions aren't as much. Uh, he's pretty good at planning, infantry defense, organizational loss when moving, and plus one more to attack. And he's an aggressive assaulter, so he's really good on the assault. Something tells me he'd probably end up using alternative weaponry, such as maybe nuclear bombs that are very small that you could strap to the side of your launcher on your shoulder, maybe, and have a little mini nuke launched. But anyways, for our field marshal, we shall give him the logistics wizard trait. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And what are our goals in this episode here? So for today, after, since yesterday, we annexed Canada. Or not really annexed, but we've occupied them and we will annex them in the future. Once this war, of course, is over. Because this is a very historical run in Hearts of Iron 4. What we are going to do is finish off, finish off the remaining soldiers here in Canada. And push even harder into the Siberian held or the German held Siberian Reich. Uh, ooh, why are there 24 guys over here? Courtney Hodges, um, I was pretty sure I left this up for someone to take all this territory from, but now their tanks are just rolling in. I'm gonna need you to do that real quick, like. Can you guys make it over there? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. Alright, so. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to reorganize this group a little bit. The group that was supposedly invading various bits and islands all around here. So, in, instead, I'm going to have these guys finish off, finish up, finish off, whatever we have around here. So, you guys go over here to here, all the way down to there. You took a Guadalcanal. Great job, guys. You're going to come here. And that looks pretty good. Papal looks pretty good as well. Oh, we need more coasts and defense peoples. And let's see, we do cr and currently have people invading several different islands. Very good. Of course, in this episode, we will be destroying a ton more enemy convoys and stuff like that. So that is always very good to have. Let's see, uh, Philippine Sea. We could probably start doing the South China Sea as well, since we do technically should own it. Oh boy. And as soon as I did that, we lost a convoy. Okay, that, that makes sense. How's this looking? Let's see, the Germans are definitely trying to invade through Hong Kong and Guangzhou. But our Chinese allies have decided to pretty much put a stop to that at the moment. Any upgrades needed? Any sort of upgrades? Nope. And nope. Alright. We got enough chromium. We need a couple more dockyards. But other than that, we're doing pretty darn well. Ooh. Yeah, two more German convoys sunk. Great. Well, let's really focus here on destroying any remnants of Axis forces in Canada. Oh man, this tank got hurt really badly. Got a lot of factories. Lots and lots of factories. Yeah, I need more coasts and defenses. I'm probably going to need more manpower, even though we are still mobilizing, so. We'll see what happens. Actually, put you on high. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff, man. Ooh, better excavation. Very nice. Uh, fuel. We're pretty much full already. We still don't need that. Engineering. Pretty useless air control. I don't use advanced fighters. I just the range and the heavy fighters are just too good to pass up. But I will use jet tactical bombers. That sounds pretty nice to me. Nice, and we sunk a total of three subs. Good. So I have a feeling that these guys will do just fine around here. Actually, you guys come over there. You guys come up that way. You guys take these guys out. Uh, you guys come over here. Yeah, just go on. Take them. Put them out of the misery. You guys come up through here. You guys finish these guys, these Nazis off. Oh no, I just said the N-word. Well, that N-word. Now I'm going to get demonetized. Too bad for you, Google. I already am not monetized. Oh, we are going to have to retake Cal uh, Alaska. I almost said Connecticut. I don't know why I said almost Connecticut, but whatever. Let's see. Uh, who are you? Where are you guys positioned? Oh, you're over here. You only have 20. You have 21 out of 25. What about this? Oh, okay then. It looks like something happened around here, and we have to reorganize our front line, which is fine. Totally, totally fine. So come all the way around here, 
uh, until we hit right there. All right, very good. Go ahead and reorganize yourselves, guys, since one of your groups, army groups, was not, didn't really have orders. Oh, an allied convoy was sunk. Sunk a Jap Japanese, no, a German sub. We've got our fleets looking for more subs. Doing a great job destroying all those enemy subs. Uh, yeah, this is going pretty darn well. Pretty much to be expected. Oh, we got a little more naval XP and a little more army XP. We lost the Japanese convoy, but shot down or sunk an Italian convoy. I guess I'm going to just leave it up to the Japanese to take out the Dutch East Indies. If possible, they might be able to take out Australia without... Uh, guys, just move on in. I know the infrastructure is crap. That's why I gave you guys logistics uh, companies. Which, honestly, ever since the Man the Guns update came out, has been even more beneficial than what I normally use it for. But, still... They're, they're they're just I always use logistic just companies because they're always gonna fight in areas that are just complete crap, complete and utter crap. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're taking a lot of casualties. Blah blah blah. No one cares. Well, maybe a few Americans do. Not much is going on over there. Two more convoys sunk. Did we? Yeah, I already did this. Yeah, ships, planes. Yeah, cool. Good stuff, man. Oh, good. You guys made it. So I'm gonna send one of you boys over here and send another boy from Suva over there. Actually. Uh, we don't have any sort of radar over here, so that would actually be a good idea to do that, and maybe even over here. Oh, do we have a port strike? Oh, oh, we need to take this island. We just sunk a destroyer. Very nice. Uh, since you're over here, you come here, and you invade that island. Go ahead when you can. Something tells me you're probably not going to have that much, that many problems. Alright, so we've got, taken these islands from Vichy, France. You can stop doing that. Well, all three of you, well, at least we know there's all three of these guys. You come from here, and you will invade this island. You will come from the same place and invade... Oh, we, we left that place. Okay. And then I want you to come here. Oh, never mind. You already have people here. Okay, then whatever. I, uh, nothing. Nothing happened. Okay, cool. Uh, Chile, two divisions. Well, you know where they're going to be sent. Coast Guards. Which is honestly struggling a little bit. Not good, but still. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Destroy holes. Subs are doing a pretty gosh darn good job. Ah, uh, we'll need to invade up uh, garrison that area as well. Wow. I have 48 subs in one fleet. Reserve fleet 4. Reserve fleet 4. Reserve fleet 4. Reserve fleet 4. Actually, I'm making subs in Florida. Am I making any subs over here in the west coast? No, that's that's more ships. That's one ship. Uh, let's see. Actually, before we do anything crazy here, oh, we already have this selected. Besides Reserve Fleet Four, what other groups need more subs? Task Force Five, but definitely Task Force Four. Task Force Four. Task Force Four. Reserve Fleet Task Force 4. Yeah, I could rename all these, but that would take too much time, and I don't really care that much about doing that. Uh, we lost four Filipino convoys. Should have put them under my control. You probably would have lost them anyways, but you should have put them under my control. Nice. Another sub sunk. Very nice. Oh, another German convoy sunk too. Awesome. Very awesome. All right, boyos. Come on through here. Are we... Yeah, we're moving in there. That's good. You surround a couple Spaniards and some Germans. Good. Take these guys out. Good. How are the tanks doing? They're not doing great, but not doing bad. Let's get to the port. Like, seriously, that's all you need to do. Oh, we're taking Quebec, which is great, great, great. Oh, nice. And two more convoys sunk. And I will use that for more war propaganda, because, well, we've been taking a lot of convoy hits, and... Some of our war heroes have been killed, so that's not really good. Alright, oh my goodness. Five subs sunk in exchange for 11 Japanese convoys. Good. Now oh, we lost two convoys, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Four more subs sunk. J dang, Japan, you're doing great. Keep it up. Land war in Asia, how's that going? Well, you guys could probably do that with support from you. Hmm. 
If anything, you are helping out. Alright, so both those divisions are helping out. We are squashing the Germans in South... Well, this is really South Asia, if you think about it, because this is all Asia. It's really kind of South Central Asia. Uh, we're moving kind of slowly through Siberia. Moving very slowly. Yeah, let you guys just hang on out. Do your thing there. Does anyone need upgrades? Like, infrastructural upgrades. Oh, we've already set them over here. Uh, this place could look like it... Okay, both places could use some. What about radar? We're, we are approaching an area where we don't have that much radar. We might as well start developing maybe a little bit more. Uh, and why not right there? Cool. And we lost two more Japanese convoys. Whatever. Do-do-do. whoop de doo Alright, so more island stuff. Let's see, have we invaded? Oh, no. They are moving out about the cabin. Oh, and we... I forgot about this. We actually took Auckland. We actually have a port in New Zealand. Oh, God, I just said the NZ word. Uh, is it okay now to say the NZ word? Is it okay now? Let's see. Actually, that's extremely good. Let's add a couple of that. Uh, we don't really have enough space to do that, though. And boost it up a little bit. Mm, victory. Oh, I like victories. What do we have? A Kiwi convoy sunk. Yeah, you can say Kiwi. I don't know about New Zealand. Oh, oh God, whatever. Uh, let's see. Very nice. Very good. So we're slowly pushing in here. Good, good, good. And let's see. Anything else here? Improve worker conditions for a little bit more stability. Because we're at war. Uh, you know what? That's okay. We'll do that. And honestly, at this point, we have most of the islands. We might as well tell everyone to come down to New Zealand. Because I don't know how many divisions are actually down here. Because we do know that the, the Kiwi Empire has sent a lot of divisions outwards. Oh, they're out of... Okay, that, that makes it easy. They're out of divisions, out of manpower, and they don't have that many factories. New Zealand... Oh, no. no. Shit. Australia has no divisions either. Oh, my gosh. So, we're going to probably invade Sydney. Is this Sydney? Yeah, it's Sydney. I don't know my Australian geography that well. So, we'll probably invade Sydney and have a good time doing so. Oh, we lost an American convoy. God dang it. And just take capitulate the Australians, which would free up this army we have that's currently invading, and finish off Southeast Asia, Oceania, and we can put this army towards something else. I'm not sure what, but something else definitely. Uh, let's see. Ooh, chance to receive critical hits, effects of sustained critical hits. Nice. That'll come in handy. Yeah, yeah. We lost something right bad. Yeah, whatever. We lose lots of sorts of convoys. Wow. Japan, you are really going at it. What? Japan, you guys aren't that strong right now. Uh, you might need to give them a little break. Alright, not bad. Oh, the Japanese decided to take this. Well, that's okay. I don't mind them. the Japanese having all of this back. As long as they don't, you know, go fight me. Or really start any other wars. <laughs> Under Rikin Min Saito. Alright, we got a lot of manpower, especially if we're being serviced by requirement. After losing the war to me. How's Canada doing? Oh, we're doing so much better. A nice, nice blue color here. Uh, did we fail trying to get over here or something? Oh, we might have, actually. Oh, they got quite a few divisions over here. Actually, I don't need every single tank division to get over there. So, just take one of you guys and help strike from here. Cut these guys off from any extra supplies convoys and actually raiding over here probably isn't the best idea raid over here that'd be better uh yeah they're moving they hopefully will strike a bunch of convoys over here because there's no ports down here but there's a single last port in labrador oh china yeah yeah i, I love the chinese soldiers i love china's soldiers yeah they're great now go help defend my lands by my lands i mean all of our lands uh, let's see. I need a lot of... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of divisions. I'm going to need 173. Holy cow. Oh man, we're just pouring into the Kiwi Empire. They're just like, yep, come on in. Come on in. There's no one here. Take us out. Oh, 10 Romanian divisions. Very nice. Four more German divisions. 
Of course the Turkish Empire would join the war. Of course. Oh, that's a big axis. I'd be surprised if Portugal doesn't eventually join or decide to fight against the Axis. They're pretty non-aligned, though. And the Turkish Empire, something tells me. You're very white for being a Turk. Regardless, Mit Partisi. Germany. Regardless, though. Regardless. And the German East Indies. So basically, they got the Turkish Empire to help them out, which is somewhat strong, I suppose. It's a medium power. Eh, yeah. But they, the enemies just lost the German East Indies, which is very good for us. Very, very good. Actually, for right now, guys, just go, just go crazy. Like everyone, go crazy. Ooh, magnetic mine. We get more naval mine damage. Even though I never ever use mines, but what we will do is do better naval mine avoidance. So we lose, or we don't hit mines. We hit mines less of the time. That's what I'll say about it. We hit mines less of the time. Actually, if you could just go that way, take out that division. So that you guys could, like... Ooh. 40 representatives leave us. Cut off their supplies. That'd be great. So, if you live in Quebec for real, I don't really hate you. Just, you know, fix on your roads. Fix your roads, guys. Ooh, baby. Actually, let's send some marines this way. 14 divisions of marines? Oh, you're pretty good at mountain fighting, right? Yeah, that's why I called you mountaineer marines. Totally. Absolutely. And Chileans are trying to invade this part of Canada. Alright then. Nice. Just keep sinking as many enemy convoys up here. Make sure they cannot resupply. Now, we have a lot of extra guys here then. We have quite a few extra guys, which I will not send over to Quebec. Just because the supply will be extremely terrible and... Our tanks are already having a tough enough time as it is. Tanks. We're going to have to reorganize ourselves. I want you to be something like that. We're going to reorganize ourselves. We're going to get more infrastructure. Uh, let's see. Radar is honestly pretty good already. Uh, but we could help it out maybe a little bit. Maybe a couple planes here or there. It's not bad. Really not too bad. Uh, do we need any more radar? Inf information, knowledge is power. Uh, we're, we're, we're okay for that, for that for now. Baby, we need some infrastructure. India, your infrastructure is kind of lacking. Yeah, we are getting, definitely getting attacked down here. Let's see. 22 divisions, Maurice Rose. He's almost an organizer and infantry leader as well. Uh, let's see, do we need anything? We need a lot more anti-tank guns. We need more modern tanks. Pretty typical. Let's see, naval bombers. We have, actually... A greater stockpile of naval bombers now than we had before, and our allies took out the Germans and China. Great job, guys. Great, great freaking job. I knew I could count on you, Japan, despite you losing hundreds of thousands of men in the water to German subs. Kind of like me. I'm losing a lot of a lot of convoys in the water. What's this? Uh, I still got more subs. Whatever. They will be crushed eventually. Uh, how's this looking like? Not great. Get the single tank division down here. That's kind of laughing at us. Kind of strong. Right, Binky? My cat's here with us, enjoying this war. Well, can you really enjoy war? Yeah, of course you can. As long as you're not the one dying in it, right? Oh, nice. Ah, there's like a couple Turkish ships, eh? Alright, we lost a destroyer in exchange for two, I guess technically nine, Turkish ships. Twelve more Turkish destroyers and a Romanian sub and another Romanian sub. Alright then. You guys are all set to, you know, disengage when you need to. Sounds good. We've got a lot of extra spare ships here. So, this is the Asiatic fleet, which is fine. Uh, we have only one side that's really made up of screens, so we're going to add a few more screens to this patrol fleet. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see. Cruisers. I will give out one, two, three cruisers, and then seven destroyers. It's not bad. Go ahead, add you here, and you will do some patrols as well. S split off when you need to. So that's really good for helping destroy any more. Maybe a destroyer, perhaps a, uh, what'd you call them? Can't even remember now. Oh yeah, light cruisers. Oh, even more ships down here. Oh, we lost a destroyer in exchange for 10 destroyers. Not bad. 
Could be worse. Could be much worse. Because they do have a lot of German ships around here. Actually, can you guys just stroll on in through here? That'd be great, yeah. That'd be great, guys. Alright, it's still only July. We're finding tons of convoys around here, which is great. Love it. Nom, 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 nom. Tasty convoys. Alright, so you guys are done with your job. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and realign this entire front line here. Whee! All the way over there. Come over here. Reorganize yourselves a little bit since we do have these other 24 divisions coming on up. Nice German sub sunk. Japan is doing a great job. And how is the old Kiwi Empire? Well, let's see. Alright, so, what we're going to do is try an invasion of Sydney. Let us try that. Auckland, you will come up to here. Brisbane, never been there, never been to Australia, but I would love to go someday. Let's see, Auckland, again, to Sydney. If my intelligence reads correctly, they have no division, so an invasion should be okay, but then again, sometimes your intelligence reports may not end up being true. Just in case, let's do that. Let's have a little bit of fun there. And we'll send another three divisions from this city called Wellington to Newcastle. Sounds good to me. Oh, right. This will begin the invasion of... Influence, Axis Influence in Oceania. That will be a major goal and a major milestone for the free world. Alright, very nice. Uh, are you guys... Oh, I told you guys not to go... Uh, well, I mean, it is kind of hard for you guys to go. You guys are somewhat spread out. Doing okay. Go ahead when you can. I mean, you don't have to, but there are obvious holes around here. You guys, be careful, but go ahead as well. And keep the pressure on the Germans if we can. Anything else? Oh, four more German convoys. Oh, another German convoy, and then another four German convoys. Very nice. Infrastructure up here is just so crap. It's so bad. Even when you're standing still, it's so bad. But we are building it up. Okay, Quebec. Oh, we're more than halfway for a radar. We're almost done with a next level of infrastructure, which will be great. Four subs. Nice. Last couple things. Another sub. Nice. Come on, Japanese. People, you can take Singapore. Please do that. Please. Oh. Oh my gosh, we're sinking a lot of things. Canadian destroyers? I thought we destroyed the Canadian Navy already. Okay then. Sub. Alright, alright. Well, let's see, what can we research next? We're running out of things to research, guys. Artillery, we already have that. Rocket artillery? Maybe? Armor? Uh, I guess we'll get the next mechanized, because why not? Oh, what's over here? Four more... Oh, they have a little enclave over here. We might need to invade and take that out. Uh, let's see. Infantry! I want you guys to go from here to invade here. Go ahead when you can. Also, do the invasion of Australia. Oh, Russell Hartle wounded. And they still have no divisions. Maybe they have no supplies or something? Hmm. Uh, signal company. I never use signal companies. I'm not exactly sure what initiative really does. The higher initiative a unit has, the quicker it can reinforce in battle, and quicker it gets its planning done. Huh. I never ever use those. Never found it to be extremely valuable. I personally think logistic companies are much more valuable than signal companies, but that's just, of course, my opinion. Let's see, Quebec. Alright, so you're getting close to halfway done for the next level of infrastructure, which is good. You guys can come up here, probably. They do. Have, they took the airbase over here. Uh, let's see, it belongs to the United States. That's good. Even more convoys from various Axis members. And Germany. They have less than 10 million manpower, which is good. Less than 200 ships. Less than 1,000 plane wings. And it's still about probably 12 to 13,000 convoys. So, that just means a lot more German bodies are going to be found at the bottom of the sea. Right. Oh, our invasion has been successful. Shot down quite a few enemy planes. Oh, and there's some Germans here. Oh, no, these are Australians. They, they actually have Australians? Wait, how do you have... But you don't have any. Okay, then. Ooh, Costa Rica. Thank you, Costa Rica. Very cool. Anyways, um... 
I'm not really going to send my army out to do very much until we take these islands, which will happen very soon, of course. And then I'll send everyone back to Australia to deal with the Australians. Hmm. I really like submarines right now. I don't know why. Can I further upgrade them? Uh, no, we can't. That's okay. Sub hull fours will go to Florida again. Florida 5. Good. 21 subs. That's pretty good. I want a bigger sub fleet, though. Over here, we're doing fine. 3 in California. 9 in Virginia. Reserve fleet 10. Well, the Asiatic fleet is looking pretty okay. Pretty darn okay-ish. Alright. Very nice. I might actually send one of the screen fleets to the Pacific fleet here. Alright. Moving out just a, a little bit by a little bit. 11 out of 10 infrastructure. I love Mongolia. Thank you, Mongolia. Very cool. Alright, so we did we take that island? Yes, we did. Everyone, you have no no more orders. Oh, actually. Uh, actually, before you move, I don't mind if you guys just stay here. Just stay there. I'm not actually going to give them an order at all. So, they are based. The first three, select all. You're over here. All but the top three divisions will kind of try to move out go through the central portion of Australia. And then we will begin to push out, which starts about right now, because it doesn't look like they have that many divisions around here. And we'll have some reinforcements come on in soon enough. Nice, couple more of those guys gone. 13 more active convoys destroyed. Good. God, just so many convoys sunk. 19 Romanian convoys, another German sub. Another Spanish convoy, a Romanian destroyer, a Romanian destroyer, a Turkish convoy. Love it. The field hospitals. Well, I'm not even using those, but we, got not, we don't have that much else to research. Could my soldiers use more... Oh my gosh, and there's not a ton of garbage planes here. Some, though. Alright, so we're going to add U-800, just in case to this guy, just one group. And then I will divide them up when they are finished deploying. So, very nice. And almost there, and good. Uh, you guys, actually, you come over here. Oh wait, you guys all decided not to do that? All right then, whatever. Yeah, you do that. Since we have 400 more, uh, you're still deploying. Alright. You guys come over here. And honestly, did I choose this right? You guys, yeah, you guys are down here. I need some close air support or some tactical bombers or something like that. There's level 200. Do anything else? Level 1, 1300s. Yeah, we don't have that much. I'm probably going to choose a tactical bomber, so let's do 400. And I will add them to this group here. Because the range on these guys isn't too bad. 56, 60, 70. Almost there. And here we go. Very nice. Degaussing. Naval mine avoidance. Diesel powered en emergency pumps. Submarine mine laying. Ah, screw it. We've got enough research slots that we can do whatever we want. Oh. Oh, wow. We sunk 10 Romanian destroyers. Are they just sitting there now? Oh, my gosh. So many subs destroyed. Subs. Subs. Germany, I mean, I guess you like your men dying at the bottom of the sea. 30 Romanian convoys. Holy crap. As well as the Romanians. They like just sitting there, boys in the ocean, just, you know, dying. Another German sub. Very nice. Oh, the tanks actually might be... Might actually have a chance to kill the rest of these enemies off. Can we do it? I think we can do it now. Finally. Very cool. Well, we got enough for some more subs. <sighs> Submarines... I guess we could keep making more here, but I really 40. Another battleship. Eh, let's go we'll do another battleship. Go to Virginia, since you probably won't even be made by the time this game ends, maybe. By this campaign. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh. Nice sub. How is Virginia? You know what? 21 ships. 
You're part of... You're really not part of anything. You are part of what? You're by yourself. Just combine yourselves. There you go. Senator speaks out against government policy. What I'm going to do is... Let's see. Another task force. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And I want two, three, four. So four and eight. And I'm going to actually add you. You will not be part of the Atlantic here. I want you to go down here. You will come to the Pacific. Yeah. And then you will join the fleet. You will help patrol. Because these guys are good for de destroying enemy uh, subs and whatnot. That'll be good. That'll be very good. So they're, they're on their way over. Well, there's a lot of naval battles still raging on. Even though they're not really naval battles, they're just more like, eh, just kill the enemy at this point, battles. Uh, is there a reason I can't see the... Oh, I clicked a, the M button, which makes it so that you can't see very much. Alright, does anyone have any other upgrades? You guys do not. Douglas MacArthur, we already upgraded. Joseph Stillwell can become an infantry expert. And I don't think anyone else is. Oscar Griswold? Ah, you also want to become an infantry expert. Very good. Patton... You're still Patton. Cool. Don't ever stop being Patton. Alright, so at this point, it looks like we could probably push ourselves a little harder. My god, Japan, how many divisions are you ha using? You've already lost a bunch at the bottom of the sea. Kind of like me. But, holy crap. Oh, would you guys not have orders? Like, I want you to go past the Urals. Like, like do that. Uh, you guys got enough time. Oh, yeah, I guess they're just kind of holding out, waiting out, I suppose. Not really sure why they're not moving. Alright, very good. The place that we'll fight a lot is probably in Punjab. And nothing else down here. Very cool. Maurice Rose, injured. That's unfortunate. Could you guys help... Out? I don't think we can pierce... Oh, we can pierce them a little bit. But now we can't. Since that division was kind of defeated. Alright then. Oh, maybe we won. Maybe we actually did win. Who knows? Ah, uh, yeah, there's a lot of battles going on. Another sub sunk. More subs sunk. Uh, the Japanese finally Aus invaded Australia. Now, I can't remember if they invaded during World War II, because this is World War III we're currently in right now. We are slowly invading and taking over Australia with the minimal resistance. Even though they do have... You know, my intelligence isn't very good. It says that we, there are zero divisions, but obviously... Oh wait, these are Spanish? That's a Spanish division. That's a German Reich division. German Reich, but it has a flag of Australia on it. What? And even the Anzac division templates down here. Look at that little, that little uh, 3D model. Um, okay then. Well, regardless, since we've all unified, and we also have our Japanese allies around here, thank God for Japan, we just gonna go ham. Alright, good. Uh, I don't want to do any more of them, but... Subs it is. Florida. Florida will be the sub heaven. We'll make... We're making so many subs here that it'll be legendary how many subs that America used during this war, and will turn probably the sub-manufacturer, or the, you know, factories in Florida, into a museum. So that way we can make more money once this war's over. Look at how we built subs here. Look at the production. Back in 1947, we were making a thousand subs a year. Something like that. They'll, they'll, they'll tell tales about how successful we were at making submarines. I swear they will. Alright, no more political power. Oh. Press censorship. Nothing says America like press censorship. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Punjab. We are losing the effective air cover that we currently have. Japan. Sure, Japan. Yeah, I'll take your boys. We'll, we'll, we'll treat them nice. We'll treat them real nice. No problems here. No, no, no. No siree. Oh, look at it. Little encirclement. Very cool. Sorry for your Japanese or your German soldiers, but they're about to expire. All right. So with that in mind, we have pretty much reached our time for today. So let's end it here, guys. With that in mind, of course, we have done a very good job. We've taken out the Kiwi Empire. We've sunk a lot of ships. We lost a few ships of our own. But overall, I am honestly surprised how 
well the Japanese military has rebounded from their defeat against me and the loss of all their soldiers even though wow that's a lot of soldiers that's still a lot of manpower and quite a few ships regardless let's take a quick look at the casualties so I've lost over 3 million actually it doesn't feel like I've lost over 3 million soldiers but I guess I have I mean that's pretty much to be expected while the Axis has lost nine and a half million with the Germans themselves losing over two and a quarter German Malaya huh hmm interesting very interesting numbers regardless though Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We took out New Zealand. I mean, Kiwi Empire. So, like it. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to push into Asia, take out Australia, and formulate a way for us to maybe invade Africa. Thanks for watching.